and welcome in. I'm the coach, and you're watching Madden Ultimate Team. We've been waiting for this one all week, and the wait is finally over. It's time to play ball. team this fielded right at the goal line and some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15 so the Colts now coming out for their opening drive they're led by the number two overall pick in April's draft from BYU the rookie Zach Wilson and what was really attractive about Zach Wilson coming out of college coming out of BYU his ability to create and make plays when many people thought they didn't exist but what's been even better is watch him improve in the pocket, able to hit the back foot, make the right read, and the right throws. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. A first down run, good for about three. Second and seven coming up. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It's only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot they want to get into. That's what we call it, not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards it. On first down, Wilson. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. Boy, Charles, that time he took a bad situation and made it worse. Yeah, you're almost putting together a nice little song there, aren't you? Because it's something you'll see from young quarterbacks. They have that tendency to retreat backwards instead of stepping up in the pocket. Some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. And good yardage as he gets this one up to about the 23. Call it a pickup of seven on the ground. That trims it to a third and 15 situation. Out of the gun. Here's Wilson. He'll fire this deep for Gallup. And that's caught inside the 35. And they finally get him, but not before he reaches the 33-yard line. A big play there for Indy. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Now Gorman. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. Two yards that time, a stark contrast from the big chunk on the previous play. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. That's going to be a six-yard gain. It leaves him with third down and just a yard to go. Here's Gallman. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee. And that means fourth down. No 
will score after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Colts in possession. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll run for it with Goldman. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Goldman will run it. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Quick hitter here. It's complete. And the Colts are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. This is Goldman, and he'll get this forward only for about a yard as that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. Second down and goal. Wilson, and he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13-yard line. Emmanuel Ogba that time able to drop him for a loss. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. Interested to see what they dial up here. Third and goal with a lot of green between them and the end zone. Wilson. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. The Dolphins do the job defensively there. And now it brings up fourth. And now the Colts call on their field goal unit here. And his kick is good. And we have action on the scoreboard just before halftime. It's 3-0. So a nice drive on the road. You come in, you take the ball down, you get three points. Yeah, points are a must on an opening drive, right? So they moved it down efficiently, got it done. I think that bodes well for their chances moving forward in this one. This will be fielded inside the five. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. They're led by the NFL's MVP in 2018 and also MVP of Super Bowl 54 in his fifth season. It's Patrick Mahomes. And the first possession isn't until the second quarter, but what's nice about it, it's only down three. So what you sell your team on is, look, one possession, one drive, we put it in the end zone. We're in the lead in this game. Let's go, guys. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Second down, and back they go to Sanders. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. And he'll have a Dolphins first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Looking for Sanders here on the deep ball. And incomplete on the deep ball. Certainly no lack of aggressiveness here. They were hoping for the home run play to get them six points. They're hoping for a catch, maybe a call, but they figure they can at least get into field goal range with a completion. Right 
Mahomes will try again on second down. They're going for Jefferson downfield. And this is caught inside the five. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Justin Jefferson as the first half is winding down. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. So they're able to capture the lead here just before halftime. And not only that, they get the ball to start the second half. That's right. This is almost like basketball down the stretch, right, where you get the two-for-one situation where you try and get two shots to your opponent's one. In this situation, they got the touchdown. They'll get another shot at to start the second half. Could be a big turnaround. No problem there on the extra point. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. Williams to return. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. come to the line ready to start their next drive and with only nine seconds remaining with not much time we'll see how they play this and they're just going to run it here up the middle and an anxious moment or two there but they do get him down and with just four seconds left in this first half a timeout call final play of the half it's Wilson Looking deep for his tight end, Ertz. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? Point after, right down the middle. And that will take us to the end of the first half of play. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone. To All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So Miami coming out for their second drive. They do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. Well, they trail by three, and they just got three yards to start the third quarter. Second down, and back they go to Sanders. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. On second down, it's Sanders, and he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. They're going to hurry back to the line now. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders, and he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Sanders on first down, not finding much of anything there as he might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. A good action to this point in the third quarter, just a three-point game, second and ten. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. The 20. There's Jefferson to pull that in. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. 
And you need a big play? Go to your big play guy. Listen, that's football 101. When you have to have it, you expect that guy to step up. A lot of people call these receivers divas. Sometimes just leadership when they get in the huddle and say, get me the ball, I'm about to make a big play. Well, worth noting, you know, that visiting sideline is getting the worst of the sun right now. It can definitely play a factor, especially because the other sideline is in full shade. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Another run here with Sanders. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Dolphins are going to jump back in front. Hard to argue with that being their best drive of the game so far as they use the running game to get them into the end zone. Couldn't agree more, more, more prior to that drive. They sputtered a little bit, but it looks like they found the formula. I would expect them to go back to that more and more as this game develops. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is now 14 to 10. That time, a nine-play drive. And Barry Sanders, the one to finish it off, as he does so with a touchdown run. Turn Williams. And good coverage there on special teams as he'll get him down shy of the 20. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys under a heavy rush, and down he goes. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down of the sand. third quarter you are watching Madden ultimate team on EA Sports and they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack second and 19 under pressure and they got to him again the sack coming from defensive end Cameron Jordan and you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback he's done some good things but overall a little bit overwhelmed back there hasn't he he certainly has but in his defense he hasn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense. I got it. Yeah. See what I did there? Yeah. He needs better protection, that's for sure. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's able to get this one up to the eight-yard line this time. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought the punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys will get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense helped the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. Now a pass hauled in downfield. And a really unbelievable play there on fourth and long. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, we and we've got a one-score game. Here we go. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Trying to get it to Chase, but it's intercepted. 
Picked off by Jason Barrett. And the Dolphins have just about sewn up this football game. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Another run with Sanders. Sanders a first down, still going. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Here's Sanders. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 101 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower. That front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll run, it's Sanders. Stops short of the 25, and that second effort got him a couple extra. Second and five. They'll run with Sanders. Pushing his way through. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Now Sanders. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that would just about put a camera on this game. So a little icing on the cake there before the clock hits all zeros. What a way to finish things off. Exactly what you want. Not much time and a touchdown to put things away. Point try forthcoming. It's good and it's 21 10. So that one an eight play drive. It spans 75 yards. And Barry Sanders, the one to finish it off as he does so with a touchdown run. Turn. 
And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. One last shot for Wilson. He's going to let it fly. And it's a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out.